Hello, everybody. I wanted to go over what are restricted terms on Google AdWords. Uh, I was working on my own account for my new 2021 AdWords book, and I realized Google has banned the word AdWords as both a trigger for ads and an inclusion in ads on Google. So how do you figure out which terms are restricted on Google Ads? Let's investigate. So I've created a little resource list for you about the patterns so you can understand what the patterns are. And let's just sort of talk about like, what do I mean by restricted terms? So if you go to Google and you type in a restricted term, like let's take the term AdWords. If you type in the word AdWords, you'll see no ads are able to run for this term, in this case with the exception of Google's own ads. So for instance, if you put in AdWords Consultant, which you would expect there would be ads for this, there are no ads. So AdWords is a restricted or blocked term. The term itself cannot be used to trigger ads, and then ads cannot occur uh, in the term cannot occur in the ads themselves. Now I went through and sort of figured out like, what are the patterns, right? So you have a pattern here, which is this is number three, it's a totally banned term. There are no ads allowed on the term. Another example of this would be PRP, which stands for platelet rich uh, therapy. So PRP, there are no ads allowed. So if you put in PRP therapy, there are no ads for this allowed whatsoever. Now, this also falls into another type of banning by Google. If the term PRP therapy or platelet-rich uh, plasma appears anywhere on your website, then you can't run any ads. You can't run ads for cat boarding or dog boarding or you know, diet cola if that terms. That's a very harsh type of ban. Now, AdWords is a level up from that. You can't use AdWords as a trigger for ads. You can't include the, the trademarked term AdWords in your ads or, uh, as well, but your website can have the term AdWords on it and it won't ban the entire uh, term. Now, there are other types of restrictions. So let's look at the word uh, drug rehab. So if you put in drug rehab, if you're in the United States, you will be able to see ads. Uh, the people who uh, have an ad like this Riverwalk Ranch, right? They have gone through an approval process and been approved to run ads on Google by kind of validating that they're a legitimate treatment center. In other countries like Canada, if you put in drug rehab, now I'm not physically in Canada, so it may show ads. If you were in Canada or you use a, a service to spoof your address, in Canada, no ads are allowed for this term. And it's in the second category. It's in this uh, 3B category. If your website includes these terms, you can't advertise anything at all. So that's gonna vary country by country, whether which kind of category of ban you are in on Google Ads. So that's a different kind of thing. So drug rehab, alcohol treatment, uh, those are banned. Now you might wonder, just sort of to zig over to something, you might wonder, does Google have a clear list of the restricted terms or the rules, right? Do they explain what are the rules for these banned terms? And I thought, you know, because I was looking myself, I thought, well, let me go do a little Googling and look and, and look at what this answer is. List of keywords restricted in ads. Is there any way to get a list of keywords restricted in Google Ads by country? And the person responds, Google products expert, you know, they have to comply with ad policies. Google doesn't publish a list of keywords. Hey, thanks, Google. Really awesome. And then this is even more fun. If you go to the bottom, this question is locked and replying has been disabled. So they not only ban keywords, they don't produce a list of what keywords are banned or what the rules are. I also have, let me just have to laugh, right? I also have a link here where you can go and see, you know, what are unacceptable, restricted, and acceptable products? And it's just, you'll see the following terms, unacceptable products, restricted products. And then I love this, was this helpful? Uh, no, not helpful. So there's no list that tells you 
what the rules are or whether a term is, is banned. You have to experiment to figure them out. So now there are other types of terms. Printer repair is a really interesting one. So on printer repair, if you do a search for printer repair, you will often see ads. Now let me see if I maybe choose a bigger city if I'll see ads. If you, you printer repair, I know for a fact you can see ads, but not all the ads are allowed to have the term printer repair in them. Again, there's an approval process that has to be allowed in. And if you're not approved, you can still run ads. You just can't mention printer repair in the headline or in the ad text, but you can mention it in the callouts. Now, the other weird thing about printer repair is in order to get the approval, you have to speak with AdWords tech support, which they've shut down because of COVID-19. So you can't get any tech support to fix this problem. So it's a kind of a nuanced type of ban where it's not completely banned, it's just kind of sort of banned. Uh, now, the other one I think is worth thinking about, which is the most common type of ban that people run into, these are trademarked terms. So a trademark terms is like Rolex. So if you go to Google and you put in Rolex watches or something, you'll see ads. The ads have to have approval from the trademark owner. So in this case, you can run ads on Rolex and include the term Rolex in your ad headline if you have an official relationship with the mark holder, in this case, Rolex. Now, you can also run ads against this that do not include the term in the headline. So let's say you were Tag Heuer or Omega or uh, one of these other watch companies. You could run an ad that doesn't say Rolex watches, but is triggered by the search. So it essentially would say, looking for a luxury watch, you know, check out Omega or check out Tag Heuer or one of these other competitive brands. So for most of us, this is the most common one that we run into is trademarks. These are often allowed to trigger the, the ad, but you can't use the term unless you have approval from Google and the mark owner. So that's kind of the most common. But there are other ones that are out there. And I think 3 and 3B on my list are the ones where you just kind of scratch your head, right? So you can't advertise on Google Ads or AdWords. And if you put PRP anywhere on your website, uh, and I'm going to have to take it off this blog post now that I think about it, uh, it'll, it'll, it can ban the entire website uh, from being able to advertise. So the long and short of it is you need to experiment as you're running. Now, once you're running an ad, let me just pop over to my um, account here. Once you're running an ad, you can see here that the, these ads were allowed to run. They just changed the policy. If you click on eligible, it'll tell you, and sometimes you're lucky, it'll tell you your ads aren't eligible to show for keywords that relate to restricted products or services. So this tells me that this is not even allowed to be a trigger. And you can click on this super helpful learn more link to get the completely unhelpful um, help file. And, and if you just think you have a lot of free time, you can give them some feedback and they will never ever respond to you. So you just have to kind of understand it. Now, this is where it's so confusing, right? Because you can see ads, the ads will show that they're approved, but they're not really approved because the term AdWords is banned and it's at the level of banned both as a trigger and any related ads to it. So uh, check out my little list. It's a kind of quick and dirty list of what does this mean, a restricted term on Google Ads. The long and the short of it, like with so much on AdWords, is, um, you know, the rules are, there are rules. They don't release what the rules are in any coherent or transparent way. You just have to figure out what the rules are and then whether you can work around them or not. And in some cases, like trademarks, you can work around them uh, if you want. In other cases, like say drug rehab or PRP, it's impossible. You can't uh, run ads for it. So I hope this is useful if you run into this problem on restricted keywords on Google Ads. Uh, I have run into it and I scratched my head and I thought, and I looked and I thought there's no clear explanation um, on the internet. So I created one.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Message me with questions. Uh, hashtag fun with Google Ads.